Hello everybody, I want to show you this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Samsung Galaxy A21 and A21s. So uh, for that we will need a pre-installed file explorer, so you, you will find it here at the apps. I'll just swipe up and then you are at the apps here. Then you have here the Samsung folder, tap it. And here's our app, we will need the My Files app. So just tap it. So first of all, we have a nice overview here. Uh, here you will find all your images, all your documents, all your videos and so on. Uh, but we will need these both points here, the internal storage and the SD card. So let's start with the internal storage. Because here we will find all the stuff on the internal storage uh, you can transfer and uh, yeah. I will show you now, as of my example, I will show you now the camera pictures. These camera pictures uh, takes also a lot of storage, uh, especially the videos and so on. All these stuff you will find here at the DCI-M folder. Then we will have here the camera. So and here are your pictures and your videos you have shooted with the camera. So uh, then let's uh, mark a picture we want to transfer. Let's start here with the first one. Just hold it and it is marked as you can see. And now you can mark the other ones you want to also, you want also transfer you want to transfer as well. Um, yeah, if you have a lot of and you want to transfer all, so you can also just go here on this point to select them all. And now all the pictures of the folder are selected. So the next point is important because uh, we uh, can now uh, choose between to move the folders, uh, to, to move the files or to copy, uh, to just copy the files for safety. No? But I would recommend you to move the files completely because then you will save also space at the internal storage. So just go and move, then go back here. No? Otherwise you can go also on the little house here, then you're back at this page. So then we can go here on the SD card. And uh, yeah, my SD card have already some folders. I uh, put already some folders here. Um, in case you have no folder and you want to have some folders because it's a better overview, I would really recommend you a good, to have a good overview, especially with many pictures. So then you go here on the three points. Uh, and then you have here the point create folder and then you can also name the folder and so on and so on. But I have also already an existing DCIM folder here on my SD card. I go then here on camera as well, it's better than. So and then uh, at the end, I go just on move here. And now the pictures I have marked before uh, going directly here to that place. Okay, so let's go back here to the house and then to the internal storage because you can do the same thing also with folders. Huh? So you can also mark folders by holding them, mark then other folders. But, uh, but I would recommend you to just take folders which one contains only music, documents, videos, uh, as a files like this um, uh, or PDF files. Uh, because uh, if you have uh, folders with operating system data, it could destroy or damage the software and you cannot maybe use it after again. So we don't want that. Uh? So just mark folders which one contains uh, stuff like this. Uh, and um, yeah, after the same thing with go and move or copy uh, to transfer them to the SD card. Now I would recommend you to move it. Okay, I want to tell you also at this moment, uh, you cannot transfer games or, or apps in general completely. Um, you can just um, move uh, documents, uh, as I said, nah, music, uh, pictures, videos, um, and I would really recommend you to move videos because videos takes a lot of data. The same with pictures because the camera is, uh, is, is good. Um, yeah, but you cannot move apps. Sorry for this information if you were looking for. Uh, but uh, let's continue. I want to show you also a nice trick here for the camera. Let's go here on the camera because you can set up also which um, storage you want to choose for your future pictures. No? Then just go here on the settings. So and below you will have here the storage location. And I would recommend you to take the SD card because if you shoot now a picture, it will go, go directly then to the SD card and you don't have to 
do this game always with transferring your data and so on. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer a question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me. Uh, it would be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.